Hi guys, welcome to yet another playthrough on the channel. Another brand new playthrough. Very exciting. It's going to be 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Now, I understand that this is a little bit of a niche title probably, but from what I've heard, the story gets very crazy. Lots of twists and turns. Just excellent, excellent storytelling. Um, also, it looks beautiful. So if you guys enjoy games like Persona, I've heard that this is somewhat similar. And if you've never played or have never heard of this game, you know, I recommend that you maybe try watching a few episodes and see if it intrigues you. So I have to give a shout out to my friend Alex and let me tell you why. I have never heard really of Vanillaware. I've never had heard of this game. I had no idea what it was and I had absolutely zero interest in it. So my friend Alex over at Backlog Battle on YouTube, he does reviews and I generally don't watch his reviews of games or any reviews for that matter of games that I have an intention of playing until I actually play them and then I'll watch the video and enjoy it very much. I saw this in my YouTube feed and I was like, what's this game? I don't know. I don't care. Let's just watch the review just because it's Alex, right? And he convinced me on this game with that video. I knew I had to play this game. So if you guys want to watch his review on the game, I will link it in the description. Pin a comment so you guys can find it easily. Go watch it. Check out his channel. He's great. And you won't be disappointed. Especially if you like jrpgs and you know other japanese and indie titles so here we are 13 sentinels i hope you guys enjoy this playthrough i'm very excited to see where the story goes and without further ado let's begin i repeat we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast a large unidentified object has crash landed in the city it is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. This is referred to the police for further instructions. I mean, I've seen screenshots. Express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. But. This game looks so... Like, I love the art style. Whoa! She's trying to show me her panties! What did she do? Is she evil? Why is she... Why y'all up in there? Maybe she's gonna defend the city. It's really happening. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. A kaiju attack. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Get in the robot, Shinji! Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Yes. I love it. Okay. Am I inside the robot? Is she naked? What the? Where did my clothes go? Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Was that my voice? It's like hearing myself talking in my head. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Wow. It's, it's coming this way. Oh, how do I move this thing? Fuyasaka-kun, can you hear me? Gojo-senpai, what are you? Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Senpai, are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? I'm so lost, we but this music later. is awesome. In the future, in. that area is under attack by D forces. She's in someone else's mecca. I don't, I don't understand. But I don't know how to control any of this. D 
Teach me, senpai. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Like this? Please don't make those kind of sounds while you're straddling the... It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nanomachines inside your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the sentinel sensors. Nano machines. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Y yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? Tutorial attack. To control your pilots, move the cursor over a pilot. Select with X. Press X to select action and destroy the enemy using arm-mounted machine cannons. They're attacking here? Oh. Worker. Wait. Okay, select and this, do do? and then do action. Arm man to machine cannons. Yeah. Boom! I beat the There's more kaiju up ahead! Slow down. Different combat situations might call for different weapons. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament, like the rocket launchers. Rocket launcher? What? Where's the rocket launcher button? Check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. My shoulders? Is this how I do it? Put some clothes on, girl. Adjust, okay. We can do this. Right? Rocket launcher. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we want to get in the circle, I'm guessing. That's our area of attack. Yeah, I got him. Saka Kun, can you evacuate? A massive kaiju is approaching from behind. Let me fight him. Oh shit, maybe not. He looked kind of big. For you, Saka Kun. Number 15's taken damage to the rear exhaust system. Someone back me up. We get back up. Number 13. Activated. Number 13. 13 Sentinels! Transmitted behind you for you, Saka Kun. But who is it? Who is it? It's He's Sentinel naked! <laughs> Why are they all you, underage and naked? Karabe, I'm gonna get banned. I'm gonna get arrested. Like Sector 3. Izumi? No. There's no way his memory could have returned. I remember doing this in my dreams. I think I can do this. Wait until we call for backup, Izumi. My name is Juro Kurabe. Heavy Knuckles. Nah, I gotta think. Heavy Knuckles. No target. Oh. That's it. Boom. So, what do you guys think about the location of the chat? Do you want to move it? Do you want to take it off? Okay, we'll turn it off for now, and then I'll go back and watch the VOD, and if I think there's a place that I might want to put it... Alright, let's, let's move on. Juro Kurabe's story is now available. Sure. 
The story of Juro Kurabe. A few days ago, Sakura High School Class 1B, May 1985. Damn, I wasn't even born yet. This again? What is going on? Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shiba-kun. Move and talk. Okay. Guess we can only talk to Shiba Kun. Oh! Wait. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can go through you. Okay. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like we're cardboard, uh, like paper, paper dolls or something. Paper dolls. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Uh, Kyuta Shiba's been added to the thought cloud. Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it'll be added as a keyword. Press triangle to open it and select and contemplate keywords. Okay, let's do that. Consider. Shiba Kun's a bit of a class clown. But he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Okay. Talk to him again. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> You sure love Mecca, don't you, Jiro? He was watching Evangelion, wasn't he? Use the keyword videotape on Shiba with triangle. Here you go. Let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. <laughs> okay, hold circle to move faster. Ooh. Okay, so I can talk to Iori now. Shall we go home, Asami chan? Ah, uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's Nenji kun, right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but Iori chan met someone special too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. <laughs> Who's this guy? Wake up! Can I talk to you? Fuyusaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. She always seems to be asleep, and then I can't... Oh. Okay. Good! Good. What happens if we go here? Hold on a sec, Miyoko. Oh. Did you need something? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... Damn! All right, well, screw you then. I'm out of here. Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep, gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh crap. Oh right. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Blockbuster hasn't gone out of <laughs> business yet in 1985. Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. 
That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. I'm excited. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? Hmm. There's already a an air of mystery about in the air, huh? An air of mystery in the air, yeah. Real great. What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. I can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? We were just talking! But out! Cozy. It's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. Worst wingman ever. <laughs> Sorry for you, Sakasa. Whoa, whoa, getting awfully well, close there. This some other time. Getting awfully close. <sighs> I know, I shouldn't tease you like that. Yeah, not in front of the it's girls. For keeping secrets. Right? Get going to. <sighs> wow. Oh, I gotta tell you everything about my life? Jeez. Hey, sorry, I'll buy you a crepe next time. I want a crepe. Hey, I want hey. a crepe. Could you move? No. Sorry. I'm gonna keep being a creep until you give me a crepe, bitch. Why does her voice sound familiar? Her voice sounds familiar, but I don't know. Everyone's training hard with their teams. They're really supporting one another. Maybe I should join a club too. Can I talk to you? No. Okay. It's about time for me to go home. She seems nice. The other girl seems a little bit, a little bit rude. It's Haru. Haru for a second, but then I was like, no, it's not. But seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy in quick. You want to hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. Oh, video games. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Why is this? I just... <laughs> I just tightened this, so why is it still falling? This mic arm. Sorry if that was loud. What the fuck? Sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to yell. Okay, what do I do? Amiguchi. Consider. Amiguchi kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. Oh, rich he's guy, got huh? All the latest video game consoles in his room. Oh man, I bet he's got a several PS5s. You know, Amiguchi kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break too. Okay, can we get out of this classroom already? Kurabi -kun. That's me. Uh, hey, Kurabi -kun. What is it, Sawatari san? Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? Oh. That's all you, that's what you wanted? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Stack of papers. 
<laughs> Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, all right? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. I want a snack and I want to play video games. But oh, I right, my bag. Ah. Uh, It'd be a hassle to come back here just for that. She becomes right every once in a while. I should bring it with me. Ore no kaban. Hold R1 to fast forward text. It will automatically pause on unread text. Press that thing to view the text log. I don't think I want to fast forward any text. Press options to view the pause menu and select manual to view the controls. Okay. Now we can get out of the classroom. Nurse's office? Sure. Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. Oh, explore. Explorations. Let's see. Examine. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Yeah, probably. We gotta go play video games. There's a document with my picture on it. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Hold up. I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Mm, he did call us Izumi. Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? Whoa! Oh. Hello. Damn! Damn! <laughs> God damn! What the fuck? Anybody else get the urge to motorboat these things? <laughs> okay, wow. I was not expecting that. Hello. It's now the appropriate... Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Steven. Hello, nurse. <laughs> Would now be an appropriate time to do that. I think you forgot these. Oh, my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Kurabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. He's blushing. I would be too. Shiba-kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Hmm. Oh, one more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? Condition has been added to the thought cloud condition you know any heart palpitations whoa dizziness headaches now Are that you, you mention it night? i feel a little pitter patter in my heart can you There's back up cold going around at this time of year that's a bit odd isn't it i'll give you some medicine just in case mm, no thank you no more drugs i'm fine no really? more drugs i see if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Alrighty then. Let's get out of here. Whoa! Oh, you're still here? Shibakun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Lame. Try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. 
Okay. Same day, heading home. Kyakicho Shopping District. Something wrong? Uh, you couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What? That old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mechadimos. <laughs> it's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. 1954. A sci-fi movie from the first okay. in what will become... Sorry. Okay, guess we can't talk to you anymore. <sighs> I'll pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. Miyuki and Naba sure is popular these days. Right? I even hey, see her in TV aren't commercials. Are we going home? Wrong Everyone way, man. I'm listening to gossip. Her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? Who's this guy? All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. No, you're Come no on, fun. Let's go home. The Sentinel isn't responding. The you activation. Know I hmm? know I did it right. Hmm? Why won't it start? Eitaro Miura. Miura-kun. Uh, Shuro-kun. What's wrong? Is everything alright? You look awful. Very similar name to Kentaro Miura. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Uh, your forehead is glowing, forehead. Harry Potter. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. <gasps> what the? Too late. <sighs> My he touched hand's lighting it. up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Oh. Sentinel number thirteen. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Over there. Wait, what the heck? Is that a robot? Why do you say it so calmly? Sentinel. Wait. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back. I did that? Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. What is going on? This will be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Wait. Shibakun? <laughs> what? Shibo. Oh. What? I did not expect him to be in on whatever that was. Mystery files obtained eight. Oh, I can't look at them. All right. Well, we did. I don't know if we did good or bad or what. Hey, close results. All right. Yori Fu Fuyusaka's story is now available. Okay. Guess that's the only option I have. Let's go. <laughs> Running with toast. I'm late. I'm late. I can't believe I slept through my alarm. Those weird 
dreams won't leave me alone. <laughs> I'm losing beauty sleep. So she's always falling asleep in class because she can't sleep well because of the dreams. Oh, of course. Wow, that guy has some serious eyebrows, like... That's a yes. You're very. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Very serious looking. Sorry. Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly. Wait, whose book is that? An uncanny resemblance. An uncanny resemblance. Uh did she drop this? A student ID. First year, Miyori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. This cat. It's so pretty. The art is so good. Look at the lighting. Morning, sleepyhead. Mm. You were sound asleep. Class is over. The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? You a chance my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Okay. Miwako, huh? Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. I'm gonna have- I'm gonna struggle so much with these names at first. Miwako Sawatari Komi Kisaragi aka Usumi? Usami? Usumi? Usami-chan sits at the desk Usami. in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan. Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. <laughs> I can only hear Morgana and Haru now. <laughs> okay, no one else to talk to. You sure yawn a lot. Gosh, it's like me. Uh, are you a night owl? Makes me. Not really. It's just. Fuck. I keep having strange dreams. God damn it. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me, and then I woke up. Uh. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. 
Oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. <laughs> huh? I wonder why. Well, uh, the guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. She's adorable. Oh, you think so? Maybe. I like her. Cute guy. <laughs> what is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. But his eyebrows were so scary. Stop it, you're gonna make me yawn again! Still out of it, I see. Let's talk to you. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um You're welcome to join us, Usami chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Crepes! Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa. Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. Who's this? I didn't. She's tall. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Hmm. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Natsuno. Isn't your class next door, Natchan? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuno-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. Too many names. Oh Minami god. Chan. Another one. Are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. This is... I don't know, this all feels so random, like... <laughs> crepes, cats... It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwa-chan? All the time! Is that the one that was outside Dang. when we ran into that guy? No fair, I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it! I'm gonna go looking! What about crepes? What about crepes? Guess that nap did her some good. No crepes for me? <gasps> there it is. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Right there! Oh! I found you! Hi, kitty! Whoa, her voice squeaked. I found you! <laughs> oh! What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. Oh, that's Amiguchi. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. 
Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Huh. Fuyusaka-san? Pursue what? <laughs> what is she doing here? I... It's a public school! I think as long as you love each other, <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure it's like what? something completely different. Don't mind me. Bye. <laughs> Wait, there seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> me and this guy dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? Hmm. Strange dreams. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Stop yawning. So what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Not in chronological mm. order? Oh god. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. This is gonna get really complicated, isn't it? Every day, I have strength. They keep me up and... <sighs> so... Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? Telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. Ooh. The future? Yeah, I have a feeling that this is going to get very intricate. I feel like this story is going to be very intricate. Why is it saying there's like... I don't know. Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually... I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Okay. We're clearing the prologues. Nice. Beginning of the end tutorial. Episode 2, wave 2. Okay. Dream time again, I guess. Oh god, and we're naked. Oh gosh, I forgot we were naked. This is just really weird. Below. 
That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D forces would be completely locked out. Oh, okay. That's gotta be the Aegis system Miss Morimura was talking about. Aegis system. But is it even safe to use? Morimura? That's Only the titty lady. My time. How do we activate it? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D forces invasion point. Invasion point? You mean where the kaiju are all trying to get to? Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. Move your way toward the terminal. Move. Wait. Oh. That's the map. <laughs> Move. Number 13, moving out. You made it. That's where you send the signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Lost condition. You must protect the terminal until the self-defense system Aegis is activated. Damage will show up in the top left. If this... If the gauge is completed, or if, even if one of your pilot dies, it's game over. Oh god, here we go. Switching pilots. Switch with the D-pad. Change up pilots depending on the situation. Can't mess this up. Focus. Okay. I've got it. Can't mess this up. Okay. Um. What should I do? I don't know. Can we go here? Defend, charge, EP. Okay, action. Um, machine-mounted guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 motherfucker. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sentry gun. Air mounted cannons, multi rocket. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do that. There we go. I want to punch. Punch him. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, ow. Boom! How's that? I love that move. Nice. Did we win? Oh god, what, the, what was that? Aegis activation confirmed. This area is now protected. Hell yeah! Are your sentinels still operational? Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? Who's this guy with the hair? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's Sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my Sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino-kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. He cut off his comms. I found his Sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself. Is he? 
I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. We made it. Oh, boy. This is just... This is just... This is gonna be a lot, isn't it? Takatoshi Hijiyama's story is now available. Takatoshi Hijiyama. So... He's friends with Okino and he's in Okino's Sentinel. Number 12. And re... re what, what was that? What was the other guy's name? He's in number 13. Karabe. Iori. Ugh! Too many names! too many names like all at once it's a little bit overwhelming a little bit overwhelming all right let's let's do this akatoshi ijiyama mm -hmm. sundown 1944 Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. What is all this tech doing in 1944? Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Hmm. Hmm. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. <laughs> the real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Eh? <laughs> Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? I don't know. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... What are you talking about? What happened to you? That's about what I figured you'd say. Is she serious? Oh, we already she did that. She built the... I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I, uh, Why is everyone blushing in this game? You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying, I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. 
So, that's it. This is goodbye. Kiriko-san? She vanished? She said that's not her name! That's impossible. I guess that's the only name he knows her by. Examine. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Oh, she teleported away. Where did Kiriko-san go? Didn't you see? She got beamed up. Oh, someone's coming. He's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Okay. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? There's that guy. If this guy. is right, Okino just crossed over. Okino. I still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Man, are you guys related? Those eyebrows, though. Suspicious man. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. That he was that Okino? For his own reasons. What? Don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! <laughs> Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Tell me. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at oh, you. Oh, that sounds like a threat. You better tell I'm him. I'm going to time travel to another era. <sighs> 1984? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel. Really? This is reality, not some penny dreadful. What is a penny dreadful? You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. He. Where? Show me. Okino. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right. Your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Okay. Well, don't then I'll show you. Warn you. <laughs> I mean, you've already seen it once. Oh, he's taking him. They're both going. Sunset, Kaede River, 1985. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching him, son. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? Is that a sam? Is that a sub? Is that a sandwich? I said hold it. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. I did not. You're being over dramatic. Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry. Sorry, you don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So, I don't have. Are money we in Kamurocho? Where's Kiryu? 
<laughs> Wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. Oh, what they've been He's saying? The been snatching all the jackets. The jacket snatcher? Uh, oh no! Wait, yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. So is this this... I'm so confused. Is this the guy who was in the white before? Is this the same guy? This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew? Okay, it really is him. Man? This Tsukasa Okino? It's confusing because they both have the same eyebrows. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Noodles stir-fried in sauce, and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. That's like a lot of carbs. So that's what yakisoba pan is. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Alright, bye, I'm leaving. I'm taking my yakisoba pan hey, and getting out of here. Walk away. Come on! <gasps> No! My yakisoba pan. <laughs> oh no! You I fucked up now. Oh, you fucked up now. You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him. Sick him. <laughs> Are they all gonna be on the floor? Yep. Stop! We're sorry! Damn, what a badass! Look! Oh, I'll get you another snack, man! That's one for I've each got of you no guys. Mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yaki Soba Pan. What the hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone wanna tell me what I missed here? An hey, ass whooping! The friend of theirs? I laid down I'm the an beat Gacha down. From Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. What? Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize I was I was moving. Ninji Ogata. Wait, it's you. It's me. You're that jacket snatcher, uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama, at your service. I told them I didn't need the help, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Hold it! <sighs> Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. I am tough. I just beat Don't five go dudes. Fights. You can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. <gasps> You owe me a How dare fight. you? Do you really want to take me on? Look at his eyebrows. They're going all over the place. Come at me. Well, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> Who's that? Why does this guy's voice sound familiar too? Iwai? Oh, he's Iwai. Come at me. Bring it. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Hmm. Iwai, huh? All right, who's this person? Hello? 
Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here, I figured I'd have to check up on you. Oh, that's Okino. <laughs> I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh, no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Dude, I'm busy! Out of my way, damn it! Before it's dawn. Like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. But did we win? Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. Not much to explore, at least in these prologues. Looks like it's locked. Hmm. The window? See through your disguise. Guess you found me. Kiriko son. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I I know who you are under those clothes. <laughs> I figured you'd be here soon, so got some breakfast for you too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yakisoba pawn. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yakisoba pawn for me? Mm -hmm. hey, look, that, that's not the point. Almost had me there for a second, so it's been six months since he first time warped here. What happened to the other guy, though? So he's just kind of been homeless, and that's why his hair's all long and shit? Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I would never. <laughs> Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? No, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, back up, back up, back up. This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Uh oh. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. What the hell? <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. He's hiding. Go ahead. I'll hear you out. Well? Kiriko Doji. Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. 
Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... He still... <laughs> he still thinks of Okino as a woman. So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. Not it human? Was in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Then who or what was it made to fight? That was just a cover-up story, huh? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids. And Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. Mm. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof, you're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. Ah, uh, so he read about what happens. Ah. Uh. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over. Then... You can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. <laughs> Go get your bread, dude! <laughs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. Yo, let me get that bread, though. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. Let's think about... Oh, I can't. Noodles stir-fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war, but That's if there's the one same. exception... Okay. Um, eat it already! Gosh! Where do you go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well, it is yakisoba pan. Not much I could do. <laughs> oh, here we go. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. Oh, now What's you call him he. There? Eat it. Well, as long as I've got it. Yes. <clears throat> so good. <laughs> The sauce is so sweet, yet so spicy. I don't know, man. Putting noodles inside of spot. bread just seems weird, but it's probably really good. All right, do we go to school? Can we go to school? For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. Okay. 
Another prologue cleared. Episode three, wave three. Molar? No, G molar. As in with the letter G? It stands for you know what? Never mind. I wanna know what it stands a G for. It's a dimos built for excavation. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy. And we need to stop them. A slow poke like that? All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. Is that where they're headed? Yes, that's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. But your Sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Can you take out some Kaiju on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in. Okay. We need to destroy all the kaiju. We cannot let the terminal be destroyed. Okay, Hijiyama. Using powerful armaments will consume energy. EP. It's gradually replenished by defeating enemies. But you can replenish it faster by using defend. Oh, okay. You'll be unable to move temporarily make use of it strategically try using the leap attack the practice rounds are okay burned. so there's my ep 550 leap attack oh I can deny you. nice i like that what next Okay, that used not a lot of EP. Rush attack, tackle. Here it comes. Yes. Finish that guy off. Senseless. Okay. I will make them unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Now let's sleep. Oh gosh, they're far. Okay, the terminal's taking damage, but I think it's still okay. Let's sleep on over here. Oh, now I'm surrounded. Hmm. What does rush attack look like? I don't have any like AOE. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Leap. I can hit all three. It doesn't seem to do a ton of damage. Now they're probably too far out to hit them all. Hmm. I'll just punch him. Is that it? Just punch him. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. We still have plenty of Here it comes. Yes. EP. Try again. Oh no, more are coming! I didn't even finish taking out these guys up here. More enemies. Is there no end to them? 
Looks like I made it in time. I'm going to activate Aegis before they overwhelm us. You're that guy from before. What are you scheming? I won't allow it! Wait, Hijiyama-kun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer! It's all part of the plan. Besides, there's something I want us to try. Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. We can make the saucer itself attack them? Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Oh my goodness. Meta skills. By gathering meta chips from defeating enemies, your meta gauge in the bottom left of the screen will increase. Okay. Meta gauge, I see. Level 1. You can use meta skills when the meta gauge is filled up. Open the menu with triangle and use the meta skill phase plasma EMP. Phase plasma EMP. Terminal unleashes EMP pulse, halts movement, and drops aerial kaiju. I see a lot of aerial kaiju flying around. Dropped them like flies. I fucked him up. The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. That was amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. And what else we got? The only meta skill you can currently use is phase plasma EMP, and you can only use it once. Once terminal enhancements are available, you'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. You can also increase the number of uses. Awesome. Let's see. Very cool. Um, should we go after them or should we just kind of chill here? Defend. Charge. Let them come to me. What oh. Next? They're kind of destroying the... They're kind of destroying shit, though, so maybe... Maybe we should stop them, actually. <laughs> what do you think? A fine hit. The practice round's over. Here it comes! How's that? Maybe we shouldn't let them just destroy all the buildings. The G Molar. Ain't gonna be digging underground in my city. Oh god, there's more. Oh. What did we do? Aegis activation confirmed. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves. Like magic. Destroyed themselves. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate. And if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? Well, what do you think? This is Renya Goto. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Hmm. Where is Okino? Is he not in his own Sentinel? Another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? Well, we did it. 17 and 19? I thought there was only 13! What are you talking about? 